What's up guys? Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Alicia and in this video I'm going to show you how I made this really cute basketball tumbler. So you say I don't have sublimation. That's okay. Neither do I. This is a vinyl wrap. So I'm going to show you how you could do this easy peasy vinyl wrap in just one day. All right. If you're interested to see this, stick around and I'm going to go ahead and get started. let's get started with this cup wrap okay so I have a 20 ounce skinny straight from maker flow I have prepped it by sanding it and uh, spray painting the ends black including the bottom and so what I'm gonna do is I measured my cup and the cup is like 8.25 around by eight and a half or eight and a quarter long so measure your cup so you know how big to uh, print up your piece of vinyl. All right, I'm interrupting my video real quick because I noticed when I was editing that I forgot to put in that I use this printable vinyl sticker paper. I know a lot of people use haze. This is what I use. I've never had an issue with it. I really, really like it. And so this is what I use when I am doing, um, I'm printing up a full cup wrap. And I always make mine a little bit bigger um, because I do like a tiny bit of overlap. I've never been real successful with getting an, an exact flush cut. So I overlap just a hair and I, you know, I don't see anything wrong with that and I've not had any complaints about that. So that's how I do it. So you are going to, you know, make sure you know which end is up so that you can, you know, know which way to place your pattern. And so I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna place it face down and I'm gonna, I'm gonna set my cup on top and I'm gonna eyeball and stand up over it. And then I'm going to just do the math measurement. So just keep shifting it until, until you get it straight. Or you can also do it this way and that's gonna get you straight, but then you've gotta, You've got to shimmy the cup over a little bit because you want, you want a little, you want the cup, you know, you have here and here, you want space so that your epoxy can get a good seal over your vinyl. So um, whether you do it that way or that way, you're still going to have to like shimmy a little bit. And plus this is like a rounded bottom. So when I go to put this on, if it's not up high enough, it's going to like crinkle and buckle down at the bottom. And a lot of cups are like this. They're not like, you know, real super square. So that's another reason why you wanna, you wanna leave it. Now, I like, you know, this is, this has got, the seam is looking pretty good here as far as it's lining up on both ends, which you can't really see that well, but, um, cause I'm holding it. So I'm gonna let this go. Make sure I do not shift my cup. I did that in my calendar in my calendar page video, I shifted the cup and I wound up having to pull it off. So make sure it doesn't shift. And so the easiest way I found, and you know, everybody likes to do um, wraps differently. And so that's why it's great to watch different videos so that you can see how people do it. And then you can try and see what works best for you. You know, um, less frustrating, if you will. So I'm gonna start peeling this back. And I want to be very careful not to shift and bump my cup like I did the last time. And I'm going to go ahead and cut this piece off. It doesn't have to be a perfectly straight line. It's totally fine. All right. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to roll my cup on to it and get it started. Roll back. And then I'm gonna push this on and I'm gonna smooth it out. All right, so it is on the cup now, it's started. So I'm gonna pull it back. And this is where you wanna, you know, most people, and I do it too, I leave the paper on as I'm going. Um, I pull it back some and then I just smooth it down with my fingers. Some people use squeegees, I just use my fingers because I can feel for any bumps, I can feel for any wrinkling because you can pull this back. So if you get like a, a big bubble in there or you get, you know, a wrinkle in there, you can pull your vinyl back gently and 
you know, reposition it or re, you know, re put it down. But if you get a good start on that, you should not have a problem. Small sections at a time, just going back and forth, you know, and just take your time with it. If you rush, you are, you know, you run more of a risk of, you know, shifting it or getting a bubble or getting a wrinkle. So, I mean, it's really not that hard. You just really need to be patient and take your time. And, you know, and it's funny because I am like the least patient person I know, but I found that if I am not patient with this, yeah, it's just not going to work out well for me. So, um, I'm actually just going to pull the rest of the paper off and just keep smoothing it out with my finger back and forth, making sure getting, you know, and I'm going to go back around and get this again. And just keep doing it until it overlaps. And there you have it. So it matches up here. It matches down here. This seam is off, but you know, whatever. This, this is really, you know, this is the important part of this cup. So, um, so then I'm just going to go around and I'm going to press all this down at the bottom. It is, see, now it is a little too close to the bottom and there's like slight, I can feel like slight wrinkling down there, but you can't visually see it. So I'm going to leave it alone because, you know, I'm going to be epoxying this and the epoxy is going to be wrapping around. So it's still going to, I'm still going to be able to seal this really well. So, um, this up here is perfect. So that's it. So, so this cup is wrapped. So now I am going to put my first coat of epoxy on it. And the reason why I'm putting a coat of epoxy on before my decal is because I'm going to be putting my decal on with transfer tape. And if you put transfer tape onto this printed vinyl, the transfer tape is going to pull up your ink and it's going to, it's going to, it's like when you try to unwrap wrapping paper and you pull that tape back and it pulls the paper, it would be the same thing. So make sure you get a coat of epoxy. I am going to put a um, coat of quick coat uh, by Stone Coat. And of course, I'll link that as I link everything down in the products, um, the description below. So, all right, I am going to bring you back when I'm putting my first coat of epoxy. Although I've shown you over and over and over again, I'm going to show you again, uh, putting a coat of epoxy on here. And I'm going to use about 20 mLs. All right, I'll be back soon. All right, cup is on the turner, and I am putting 20 mLs of Stone Coat's Quick Coat Epoxy. I am doing this as I normally do it. I put the epoxy on, I smooth it out. Uh, I'm not doing it with the cup turning this time. And just look at how how the epoxy brings that orange out in the printed vinyl. It looks so nice. So I'm just going to make sure that I have a nice even coat. Don't forget not to overwork your epoxy because the more you work your epoxy, the more you will develop bubbles. Even if you have no bubbles in your epoxy after you've mixed it, don't forget your bottom and make sure that you torch. And I'll say this again as I always do, torch over heat gun. Torch pops bubbles better than the heat gun. Heat gun's more for moving the epoxy. So make sure you get yourself a nice good um, kitchen torch and I will link the one I use uh, in the description below. This quick coat epoxy dries in about two to three hours, so I will be back uh, to move on to the next step of applying the vinyl decal. Hey guys, I'm back with this cup and it's been curing for about four hours. As I said, I used the Stone Coat Quick Coat Epoxy and it's got a nice beautiful coat on it. Um, I did not like the bottom, so the bottom was too low and if you can see it, you know, it did what I said it was gonna do and that's like going around the edge, it like buckled. So I'm gonna use this cup tool to trim it. And I've already gone around like once or twice. I have epoxy on it, so it's gonna be a little bit harder for me to get this off. But since it's only one coat and it's kind of thin, I'm hoping that I can just kind of go around a couple more times and um, get this to shave off the bottom so that I don't have that buckling at the end. So I'm just, score I just scored it a couple of times I went around and because my epoxy is not real thick it's working to get that off yeah because I just didn't like the way that it was doing that out down at the bottom so I'm going to give this like I don't want to give it a rough sand but I'm going to give it a little bit of a gentle sand 
I mean like super super gentle just to smooth it a little bit because it, it's a little a little ripply down here but this is actually the amount that I want it and you know I went down too far and you know I tried it anyway and so just make sure it's a little bit shorter so that you don't run into the problem that I did um, the cut edging tool works pretty well it's um, I, I forget who the original designer was of this but I ordered mine from Amazon and uh, to cut that high on this cup, I use the two washers. So if you don't know anything about these cup edging tools, they are really good for getting nice clean cuts around the top and the bottom when you're using vinyl or um, fabric and uh, you're not gonna go all the way to the bottom and all the way to the top, but you want a nice clean edge. And uh, they come with washers so that you can raise them up to cut higher or you know cut lower you know, I don't think you really want to cut much lower than that though so all right I'm gonna put this aside and I have printed up my design and so I have um, I have rights to use this logo because um, I am very good friends with the um, the own the very good friends with um, a girl named Joe who her brother is the coach for Garden State Warriors in New Jersey and so he came to me last year and asked me to do his shirts for him. So I have, I have rights to use this logo and this cup is for him anyway. So, um, you know, just so that somebody doesn't think I'm doing copyright, I'm not doing any copyright. I have, you know, exclusive rights. I actually redesigned this logo for him because he came to me and he didn't have the logo. So he gave me the picture of a shirt and I redesigned the entire logo. So, um, I definitely have rights to use this. And so because the, see the garden state on there is really small. So what I did was I weeded out, but I left the little pieces in here, um, so that I'm going to reverse weed them on the cup. So if you're not familiar with reverse weeding or reverse weeding on a cup, I'm about to show you. So when, you know, sometimes you run into, you have really, really skinny, um, prints or you have really small print and it's really hard to weed uh, it's better to do it on the cup or do it off of the transfer tape so that um, so that you don't ruin it so I am going to I'm gonna like I'm placing this in a weird spot but the reason why I'm placing this in a weird spot is because it, I want you know I want him to see like the war I don't want the logo to be blacked out by the black stripes here so I'm doing it different because I like to be different you know like don't let's let's not do everything that everybody else is doing all the time I mean look we're, we're sharing everybody you know each each of us are sharing each other's designs and we're inspired by other people but sometimes you know it's good to be just a little bit different so I'm gonna put it down here because in this way none of the logo is blacked out and you can see it 100%. And so this cup is actually a surprise for him. So um, he, I had made him another cup and it was a college cup that he'd asked me to make for him. So I did. And he said that he thought somebody stole it from him and he asked me to make him another cup. And I was like, okay, I'll make you another cup. Well, that was a few weeks ago. And I told him it was going to take me a few weeks because I was finishing up a really large order, a, um, a large cup order. And so I talked to him the other day. I had called for my friend Joe and he answered her phone. And um, I said to him, I said, oh, I was just thinking about you. I was just getting ready to start your cup. And he goes, oh, I found my cup. And I was like, oh, okay. Well, you know, I didn't even start your cup. So, you know, he's like, no, 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 make me another one. Make me another one. He's like, I'm, and I'm like, really? He's like, no, I got you, girl. And I was like, mm. so I decided, you know what? I'm not going to make him the same cup since he found it. I'm going to surprise him with this. And I bet you he's going to be like so excited. And I can't wait until Joe gives this to him because he's going to be, he's going to be so excited. I know he is. And he's such a great guy. And he's so friendly and he's so dedicated to his team. So I wanted to do something a little bit more special. So if you can see, I'm just, and I'm like talking and not even showing you guys. So I'm picking off of the cup, the little tiny spaces in between where they were still on, um, 
on the transfer tape. So they're really, really small and hard to get off. And that's why it was easier just to, to pick it off of the cup. So I'm going to put his name, his nickname, Mookie. Yep, that is right. His nickname is Mookie. And I'm going to put it up here. And then when you look at the back side, you're going to see, you know, the basketball. So I'm going to put this up here and I'm actually going to, I'm going to cock eye this. I'm going to make this like this. I'm going to do it. I'm going to, I'm going to put it like this because I just want to. And I love it. And I know he's going to love it. All right. So that's it. Mookie and the Garden State Warrior. So I am going to now, um, I'm gonna give it a light sand with a very fine grit down here at the bottom, and I'm gonna put two coats of epoxy on, and this cup is done. So see how super easy it is to do a wrap? Like, so if you're, so, you know, if you don't have access to do sublimation, like I don't, I've not, I'm not set up to do sublimation, so your next best bet is to do a cup wrap. And you know, see, it's this easy. So. All right, I am gonna get two coats of epoxy on this and then I'll be back for my final remarks. Oh, real quick, you know what? Before I do that, I'm gonna, this is the time where I clean my rim. So I've said this in other videos and I'll say it again. So right between, like right before my final coats, I like to go in and clean the rim. So I did get a little sloppy and I got some epoxy here. I'm gonna use my craft knife and very gently scrape that off. Let me get up so I can see. You get underneath there. If you have trouble with getting it off, you can always heat up your craft knife to help release it. And then I'm gonna go in with acetone and clean the paint off. And then this way I will have less to clean up when, and hopefully no cleanup, when I do my two final coats. All right, so, and I have, you know, a more, uh, uh, not, I wouldn't say a better video. I have a video dedicated just to cleaning the rim of a cup, but it's pretty much the same thing. Okay. All right. I'm going to be back in a bit. All right, guys. So this cup is ready for epoxy. The first thing I'm going to do is wipe it down with 91% alcohol using a coffee filter. Coffee filter over a paper towel because the paper towel does leave lint behind where the coffee filter does not. I am putting 20 mLs of quick coat. I am doing a quick coat. So my you know, second to last coat of epoxy is going to be a quick coat. I'm going to give it, give it a good cover. And then after that is dry in like two to four hours, I'm going to give it a light sanding, make sure it's nice and uh, flat or nice and smooth. Sorry, flat, blah. Um, nice and smooth. And then I'm going to go in with my final coat of epoxy, which is going to be 20 mLs of the super clear. And then this cup is going to be ready. And so I will be back to do my final remarks. Don't forget to torch. The kitchen torch is definitely better at popping bubbles than the heat gun. All right, guys, this cup is done. Easy peasy, done in 24 hours. Of course, it still needs two more days to cure, but for the most part, it is done in 24 hours. So super easy, so super cute. I cannot wait to give this to him. He's gonna be so surprised. Um, so, you know, again, thank you guys for watching. Um, please check the description down below uh, for links to products that I used or where you can find these products. Uh, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and I will see you all next time. Bye.